During a Women's Day dialogue, the MPs pointed out key issues like health, education and employment, which they say affect their coexistence with men. <laughs> on legislation, the women focused on bills that have overstayed in Parliament. One of them is the Sexual Offences Bill, tabled by Kumi District Woman MP Monika Moding. The bill proposes that a person may be incapable of consenting to a sexual act if at the time of the performance of the sexual act, he or she was asleep, unconscious or mentally impaired. It also makes it an offense for a person who administers or causes to be administered a substance to another person or to overpower that person to perform a sexual act with that person. A person who by whatever means transmits, transfers, sends, forwards, direct materials of a sexual nature to another person without the consent of that another person will also be committing an offense. Is it a question on the, the language of the bills or it's a question on the magnitude of their implementation? That's why they're not passed. The stage at, at which this bill had reached, it was read for the first time and referred to the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee for review. And Parliament is yet to receive and have a debate of the committee report. Another bill the MPs are yet to pass is the Employment Amendment Bill 2019, which seeks, among others, to protect domestic workers from forced labor, discrimination, as well as sexual harassment by the employers. It also seeks to prohibit discrimination against breastfeeding mothers in employment. It also seeks to ensure that breastfeeding mothers get breaks to feed their babies in the first three months after their maternity leave. This bill specifically make provision for the regulation of employment of domestic workers and casual employees in Uganda is to improve their working conditions. It also seeks to provide for compulsory registration and licensing of recruitment agencies for domestic workers and non-manual laborers. Unpaid care work is something in the African culture. We cannot, you know, we cannot live without it or try to demolish it. But can we be able to understand better ways of making this something that can be shared? However, some women attributed the delay in passing these legislations to low numbers of female legislators in the House in comparison to their male counterparts. Aside from the 146 women MPs representing districts, only 19 women MPs represent direct constituencies. The number of directly elected women MPs will drop to 15 in the 11th Parliament. It means that when we have legislative issues concerning about gender, it means that they are not going to be passed in Parliament because the, the men outnumbers the women at that level. And it's high time that we, since the population of women have kept on increasing and even we have already got uh, empowered in terms of education, why shouldn't we move from this percent of 3% for every decision uh, level and we increase at least to 40% or 50% because we are the majority of this country. The chairperson of the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Jacob Oboth Oboth, told NTV that all the bills have been scrutinized by the committee and await consideration by the entire House. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.